What's good YouTube, it's Stud HD coming to you guys with a brand new Madden 22 video and today we're going to be going over my day one Madden lineup. Now I have had EA access and I've had the Dynasty Edition for the past couple days so I have been upgrading my team and of course getting some coins. Don't mind the coin count, I actually have over 500,000 but that is split up in multiple different accounts. But let's go ahead and go to the item binder real quick because there is one thing that actually has officially dropped in Madden and it is the rookie premiere i only did three of them sadly but i probably should have done more i was a little cheap when it came to coins last year even though i had five million coins i probably should have done the rookie premiere sets but sadly only did three mainly because once you bought the packs and they never refreshed them there was actually a lot of the cards going for over like 80 90 000, and it just made it super super expensive i really wasn't done upgrading my team so i really didn't do that hindsight i probably should have just honestly did the rookie premiere sets regardless but now let's go ahead and and talk about the rookie premier sets because we have the 86 overall rookie premier player this is actually auctionable if you guys have five tokens sadly i only have three and there's no way of getting the two more that i know of at the moment but i will be able to get one of the half training value nats and also one fourth training value as well so let's go ahead and get the one fourth training right now because i am most likely going to go with the free safety uh, my free safety position is actually kind of weak at the moment so let's go ahead and pick that player up animation looks very similar to literally the elite animation but we're not really worried about the animation at the moment i actually want to pick up trayvon morig i think he's going to be really good he has like 86 hit power and 90 speed at the free safety position so i think it's going to be nice using up there currently i have jesse bates like 83 overall player so this is going to be great if you guys are interested in the stats of this card it's actually really good 90 speed 90 excel tackling's pretty good he has 86 hit power man and zone could be better but i don't think there's really any cards that have hit like 90 zone or 90 man yet so kind of interesting to see but we'll see that later six foot one so he's definitely going to be out there you know hopefully whenever they fix the zones this card will be a lot better but for now that is who i'm going with now let's go ahead and get who i actually want and that is jamar chase he's literally the fastest wide receiver in the game and i do run a 25 out of 50 Bengals theme team i'm a Bengals fan so it does make sense why i did that and he has like i think 92 speed on this team which is going to be absolutely ridiculous so if you guys are interested in any of the other players here you go i mean I think probably Mo Rig, JC Horn, and of course, most likely Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Trevor Lawrence. I wouldn't really go for a running back, but you could go any of the offensive linemen if you want, but I don't recommend it. But let's go ahead and get Jamar Chase. I have three rookie premieres on the team right now, but here he is. I mean, take a look at these stats. This is actually ridiculous. 91 speed and especially with zones how bad they are right now they literally you cannot press him and you can't even guard him with a zone maybe zone drops might work but let's go ahead and go to the actual team and show you my lineup all right so taking a look at my lineup i'm an 80 overall 81 offense and 80 defense as you can see my top three but let's go ahead and take a look at the offense now for one joe mixon is not upgraded all the way i actually do have some chemistries on him mainly due to the fact that i run the Bengals theme team so far 25 out of 50 you guys can see i get one strength one jump agility excel and also speed speed is going to be very key on a couple of these players now one of them jamar chase if we actually go to the upgrade tab and actually take a look at his attributes he actually has 92 speed literally the fastest player in the game and he could be 94 to 95 speed depending on chemistries and if i can get him up to a Bengals theme team of 50 out of 50 so that's absolutely really insane especially considering it's not even release day when i'm uploading this video it's only one day until it but absolutely insane i definitely want to go for a full 50 out of 50 eventually and probably get the chemistries on the strategy cards for a speed boost on him but for now he is a 92 speed definitely going to be deadly online devin hester i'm only level 10 so i'm not able to get devin hester up to his highest card i think is like a 90 or a 92 overall it is a 92 he would have 90 speed just normally but he would actually have 91 and if i can get one of these strategy cards to get a speed boost to him he would have like 91 or even 92 speed so that would be really really fast on the team as well we got randy moss from the pre-order robbie anderson he actually has like 87 speed for being an 81 overall which actually isn't too bad boyd is just there for chemistry reasons patrick mahomes is my quarterback at the moment i have been kind of using aaron Rodgers is 85 superstar card so if you guys do want to get that superstar ko card you could he's the fastest release in the game which is awesome uh the o-line not really too great it's kind of garbage to be honest but kevin zeitler is a bangle so 
Nice to have a chemistry up there to boost it. I also have Kyle Pitts at my tight end, and I also have Evan Ingram. This card was like 11 or 12,000 at one point. It could still be there at the moment, but I'm pretty sure due to Kyle Pitts coming into the game and you get the free rookie premiere at level 10, his card may have dropped in price. I think he has like 85 speed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the defense. By the way, I do want to upgrade my running back position. I do want to add Derrick Henry, but he's like 190K right now. I am able to afford him, but at the moment, I'm probably not going to buy him just yet. I'm going to wait, maybe use the 87, 88 power pass. But taking a look at the defense, we actually need to move Trevon Morig to starting free safety. And we have Jesse Bates down here. I'll probably move that Jesse Bates off the lineup and probably get his upgrade to like 86 overall card, I think it is, or something similar to that he's a decent card in the game jc jackson at cornerback he's empowered up we have fabian moreau and we also have Dion sanders william jackson he'll have like 89 speed once i actually upgrade his power up card and Jair Alexander will most likely have like 87 speed powered up. So I probably need to stop being cheap and actually upgrade that. This is really what the lineup's looking like. Strong safety positions looking very weak. Middle linebackers are looking super weak. So I definitely need to upgrade those. Defensive tackles really don't matter too much depending on your scheme. But I think there is a free Linval Joseph, I think at like level 30 something or somewhere in the level 40s. So he'll most likely be my number one defensive tackle. And I'll probably pick up DJ Reader just as a Bengals defensive tackle and maybe upgrade him later on in the year but so far this is what the lineup's looking like it is a day one squad i've only been using this for three days and kind of just been getting my coins up so that's kind of my thought process on what i'm doing with my coins at the moment but i do have some ideas on players that i do want to upgrade later on i mean i'll most likely actually pick up the left guard from the team builder sets for the Bengals. but let me know your guys thoughts on my lineup like i said it is it's a work in progress at the moment. I'm only an 80 overall. I was kind of hoping it would have been a little bit higher, but seeing as I do have like two really low overall middle linebackers and like some low linebackers and defensive tackles, the team overall is not too great. I have a punter who's a 77, and my first like elite was a Giants kicker, so I'm not really complaining about that. I'll make a video more about how to make a ton of coins probably tomorrow. But with that being said, guys, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on my team so far. And with that being said, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, put on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video. Have a great rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.